wisdom is a defense and money is a defense. But I'm, I'm using it in context tonight. Wisdom is a defense of having plenty of money. All right? And, and by the knowledge of all the knowledge is that wisdom gives life. Look at this. That wisdom gives life to them to have. See, without wisdom, you can have money, but you don't you don't have the life that it takes for it. All right? Are you listening to me? Now here are some of the things that uh, must happen in money wisdom coming to the body of Christ. Here's some of the ways that you can walk in that wisdom. Number one, by not letting your soul forget all his benefits. Turn to Psalm 103. By not letting your soul, see your soul, your soul the one give you the problem. The spirit, your spirit is rich already, it's ready to go. But you have to train your soul. And you train your soul, this psalm will help you train your soul. It says, Psalm 103, bless the Lord, all my soul, and all that is within me. Why he says soul? Bless his holy name. Then it says, verse 2, see, this is the verse now. Bless the Lord, what does it say? Oh, my soul, and what? And forget what? Forget not all his benefits. Well, Jesus said, I come that you might have life, and you might have it more abundantly. Didn't he say that? That's one of your benefits. Beloved, I wish above all things you prosper and be in hell. Yeah. Even as your soul. See that? That is. Yeah. Even as your soul prosper. So yeah. here, here's soul prosperity. Yeah. Verse 2 is, is a way to prosper your soul. Bless the Lord, all my soul. And he named 5 and 16. What, what he does, he, he, what he says, he satisfy your mouth with good things. That's prosperity. You see. Mm -hmm. Forget not all this benefit. So by not letting your soul forget all his benefit. In other words, that you can be thankful. That you can give God thanks. Now you gotta start, you gotta start giving God thanks for what you have now. Yes, sir. Lift your hand and give him some thanks right now. You know, he, he'll take you to the next level. See, praise and thanksgiving, hallelujah, will take you to the next level. Then there's Romans 12, 2. You know it by heart. Be not conformed to this world. Be you transformed by the renewing of your mind that you may prove what is that good, <coughs> acceptable, and perfect will of God. That's, that's the word, isn't it? Well, let me give you the second thing uh, when, uh, how money wisdom flow. <coughs> Keeping your mind renewed to the prosperous will of God. Give me the water. Where the water at? <coughs> Keeping your mind renewed to the prosperous will of God. That's Romans 12 and 2. And then, <coughs> then, you brought your child in glory? Yes, sir. Turn to Psalm 68. Something is said over there that is loaded. <clears throat> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <clears throat> Not tell you right now. I'm gonna say this by divine permission. You halfway out. <laughs> you see this this. This, this, this instruction, this instruction, actually you're all the way out, but you're halfway out because this instruction taking you to what is rightfully yours. Please don't take this lightly. Please don't take this lightly. Uh, money, wisdom, coming to me now. Say it. Now, now check, watch, check, say it again. Check your spirit. Money, wisdom. Come to me now. <laughs> Check it. Everything changing right now. Actually, actually, here's what I'm hearing in the spirit. Actually, what I'm hearing in the spirit, your favor is changing. 
See, now I don't I don't know too much about grammar and all that, but you, but your favor is becoming more favorable. Because wisdom, watch this, wisdom attracts favor. I don't know. You may have heard money. Wisdom comes to the body of Christ before. You follow what I'm saying? And I'm not trying to be a separatist. I'm just, I'm just trying to do what the Lord told me to do. I'm just trying to be able to leave this meeting satisfied that a deposit, a life deposit, was made in you that you'll never be able to deny. In this house, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. I, right now, I know we're not wasting our time here. No, the Lord is speaking. You see, because He's putting us in a position to receive. Oh, so you, you know the word. You know the scripture. You read the scripture. Y'all read your Bible. But we're talking about manifestation and demonstration from a witness. It works. Say it, money cometh to me now. I'll never be broke another day in my life. I cancel all debt in my life right now. In the name of Jesus. So be it. So we see that's a flower dollar. Two thousand dollars that clap hit each other. I remember he he wasn't sewing like that. Now he done, he sewing a dollar. He was something going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> boy, boy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You ready? You got your shout going on? Yeah. When you come into the knowledge of money wisdom, in which I've read probably a thousand of books, never heard of it, money wisdom, you come to the place of this verse in Psalm 68. 19. <laughs> Blessed be the Lord who on the first of the month Friday you remember the reading Psalm 103? Huh? Bless the Lord all my soul and forget not all of his benefit. Look here, look, look. Blessed be the Lord who damn it. Load it, load it. You know what loaded me? Huh? You ever heard somebody? Well, I tell you, I'm giving an example. All right. Uh, look, look up here. I'm going to make you hot. You're going to either leave or what? I'm going to make you hot right now. I'm loaded. Right now. Tonight. No, I'm going to make it. Make it I got to make it real hot. I'm loaded with money. No, no, it's not, no, 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 it's not a confession. It, 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 yeah, it's, yeah, it's a possession. And I got, I, I, thank you, Lord, that's good. I got to move you from confession to possession. You see what I'm saying? Confession is right. But possession should finally show up. Somebody said we've been on this mountain too long. You see what I'm saying? Yes, it's time to come all the mountain and say, I got it. We sang a song in the old church. I got it. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. If you can get the Holy Ghost, you must even get some money. Yeah. <laughs> this scripture said, Blessed be the Lord who did it. 
loaded us with benefit, even the God of our salvation. Paul didn't think about that. Was so long, mean Paul didn't think about this. That now from this day forward, God gonna load you daily. Why? Because you're open now. See, wisdom open you up for God to load you. Wisdom is the vow that open you up. So, right, 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 sound right there. Yielding to God's prosperity on a daily basis. You wake up yielding. Lord, you can bless me if you want. I'm the one. I'm not against it. I like nice things. I can't hear y'all. Stop, Stop being so modest about it and tell God the truth. I don't need much. You got three jobs. You, you, you just joking. Let me give you some things about money and wisdom now. Turn the proverb through. Remember, God, oh, this is, this is a wise statement I'm giving you now. It's coming from the Holy Ghost. God can't do this by himself. What? Let me prove that before we go to Proverbs. Joshua 1 8. God can't do this by himself. God can't get you out of debt by himself. Now I'm going to make another statement that is profound. You have to give him permission. Because he can't function in the earth realm unless somebody applies some faith that give him the right to come in on. So look at Joshua 1 This book the Lord should not depart from thy mouth, but thou should meditate therein day and night that thou mayest observe to do all that is written therein. Then, look what it said though. Thou should make thy prophet and have good success. See, so God can't do it by himself. So that's why uh, the spirit of wisdom have to put us in a position to think beyond the natural. Because the Bible says, two of you agree, I could, I, 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 why can't be you and God? So you should be looking for another man to agree with you, another woman. Why can't be God? He, he who agree with my word can have what my word said. No matter what nobody else said, they can't stop it. Once you agree with the word, because I, I had professional stoppers try to stop me. They couldn't. Good at what they do. That's right. They stopped many. Couldn't, no, couldn't stop. Still can't stop. Matter of fact, every time they touch me, God take me to another level. I see that happening in your life. Now! Receive it. Now! Receive it. Now! Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Receive it. Let me show you a scripture before I go to the scripture. One of my favorite scriptures about prosperity, Jeremiah 33. I don't want to look at it right now because the, the, the wisdom, uh, the money wisdom that I'm about to give you, I'm going to give you about three or four essays. A whole lot of them. I'm going to give you some of them. All right, go to Jeremiah. I'm just, just looking for a minute because I want you, I want you, I want you to keep this in remembrance. Uh, so 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 we can be on the same page tomorrow and and, and tomorrow night. Uh, uh, those of you watching by internet, now don't just sit up there and watch me. I'm not no movie. Get your Bible. I'm not a movie. I, I can't see you. You can see me. 
but I need you to have your Bible because the Lord is working on something here. Yeah. And, uh, and I, I sense a, a, an anointing. Yeah. I, I sense an anointing that this impartation of wisdom coming on pastors, coming on churches, coming on pastors, coming, coming in this room. I feel it. It got on this boy. Hey, Uncle Sheena. Y'all answer when I say something like that. I tell you about Yaya. We stirred up something. Watch what I say now. We stirred up. We stirred up something that always existed. And tonight, I need you to declare it's becoming mine. I will know what to do, how to do it, when to do it. When the spirit, watch this, watch this, watch this. When the spirit tell me turn, my signal light gonna already be on. Come on. That's how, that's how in tune that this impartation can, that's the way my life is, you know. Spirit tell me turn, I already got my signal light on. Because, yeah, because he healing. And when he, he, when the spirit breathes, I inhale. And that's what being imparted to you. It's very easy to get in there. Something like this. Opa. Opa. Now, now, to do this, if you're hearing the things I said at first, the Lord gave me permission to do something. Uh, to, to pronounce something on you. Uh, I used it many years ago, but it's within the wisdom of God that you will become a money magnet. Don't worry about how you're going to do it. Just, just stay in the flow of what God's saying to you tonight. I'm going to put some more on it tomorrow, but stay in the flow. Just stay in the flow. When your mind tries to bring you somewhere else, bring it back. Look at these notes. Listen at this tape. Just stay in the flow. Money and wisdom is functioning in me now. Magnetizing my inheritance. You see how the Lord talking to us? Now, how many, how many, how many, some of you boys in Panama, how, how many Christians you think know to say that? You, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and, and so God loved you. God got you at this meeting for a reason. Yeah. But don't play with it. Don't, 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 don't think, don't think I don't know what I'm talking about. Because I got proof. Right, right, right. Yeah. Them boys at my house the other day, I put all the toys out in the yard. Yeah, yeah. I got a few toys. Yeah. I, didn't have, I didn't have them all out. Right, right, right. I didn't have my four convertible. Yeah. I had one. Yeah. Yeah. You, see, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. It's just, but that's just toys. Yeah. Paid for toys. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody can possess them, you know. Repossess them. The only way they leave, I give them away. Yeah. I still got one or two more scriptures. Uh, I don't know where I am, I tell you the truth. Proverbs chapter 3. I went to Jeremiah 33 now. Let me read it because somebody needed to hear that. And I want you to put yourself. This is a picture of where the Holy Spirit is trying to take you tonight. And it should be, it should be to me a name of joy and praise and honor. Wait a minute now. Joy, praise, and honor. Wait a minute. Wait, what in the world is he talking about here? What, what give God joy, praise, and honor? Yeah. When I talk in tongues. No, that ain't give God joy, nah, praise, nah, and honor. Nah, nah. But I've been in church for a long time. No, no. Mm -hmm. no. He's he talking about, look, you, the subject matter here. Before all the nation of the earth, where she'll hear all the good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Now, I'm going to tell you a secret here. I don't know if I ever said it before. Now, 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 now your spirit, if you can position yourself in the spirit, you'll get something here. God is looking for somebody to brag on. I did that for him. I did that for her. Can he find that? Are you too proud to let him? See, can he find that question in you? See, now, 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 the scarcity of people in the body of Christ that can be that person is real scary. But I want you to hear that in your spirit. God, this voice is talking about God and look for a husband and wife to bless them so much on their street and in their lives that he can brag on them. That's, that's, that's my child. I did that for him. Do, do, do you want to know me? I did that for him. That's another thousand dollar check. I, I did that for her. And, and I want you to know it give me praise. It give, wait a minute. Wait a minute. If you don't permit God to get you out of debt through this wisdom you're being taught, you're not giving him praise. Not in that area. So now what you need to be saying now, God, you can have all the praise you want with me. Say it. You can have all the joy you want. You can have all the honor you want. I'm your person. From this day forward, you can use me. Now, 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 now I'll tell you now. I'm telling you a secret now. You're not going to hear this man for a minute. God used me in wealth yeah. to this, this, this verse here, 39. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Yeah. Right. If you look close enough, my name in there. <laughs> and what I'm telling you is, God wants to do it for all of his children, but they all will never get it, my brother, because they're too doggone smart. Yeah. You must decrease and let him increase. And then there's people out there trying to increase on their own. You know, they're trying, trying to make something happen, man. No. Let it happen. I tell you, you mess with me, boy. I mean, how long have I been praying? 50 minutes. Who that is Donnell? You know, Montreal, he, Montreal, and Donnell is my, my son. Montreal is next to the oldest. You're older than Donnell. So when I tell him to do something, he delegated. <laughs> when I leave out of town, you know, he sleep in my bed. He get my shoes, roll over my bed. He's got a preacher, see? So he roll over my bed, try to get a nice shoe, and get my shoes. <laughs> And then he then he have a barbecue at the house, you know. He think I don't know, but he left some evidence. <laughs> Come on in here. <laughs> what movie y'all want to look at? Let's go in. Let's go in the theater. I'm telling you something. Not let's go to the movie. Let's go into the theater. In in the theater, it's gonna play what I wanted to play. I remember, I remember when I went to Cruffalo uh, Dollar's house, and uh, he, you know, he just showed my room. And then he said, the theater right down the hall. I said, the theater down the street or down the hall? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Down the hall. So I tipped over there, you know. I, I got that man, thought, man, I couldn't, I didn't know how to break that thing. I'm glad my wife came there. My wife, she figured it out. Right? I ain't know how to break that thing. I want to try to get the screen on. Ain't nothing come on. I, ain't, I, ain't, I, never, I never seen them like that. And so uh, 
uh, I made a mark. I said, if he can have it, I can have it. Don't sweat it. Don't sweat it. <laughs> Don't sweat it. Truffalo would pick me up. Now he picked the other uh, speakers in Continental and stuff, but he always picked me up in his raw raw. I got a kind of raw spirit with me, you know. And he knew it. Yeah. <laughs> and he bought a new one, and I got in that car. By myself, my wife wouldn't. I looked down at the floor of that car. And the spirit said, put your hand on the floor. And it was lamb wool in the you know, Rolls Royce. Not regular carpet. I put my hand in that thing, suck it, and rub it, and all of a sudden came out of my spirit. I never heard this side. I said, Lord, it was the Lord talking to me. Yeah. You want me to have one of these? Yeah. Yeah. I just asked the question, look, baby, I ain't had no Rolls Royce money, yeah. but I just put my hand on it. I asked the Lord, well, another time, I went to visit Fred Price. I made a mark. I talked to his oldest daughter. She said, I said, well, all these amenities he got, you know, Fred had a pool. You push a button and it open the glass up and let the sun come in. You know? And I and had a table all around him. But when I first got to his house, he was getting out of his Rolls Royce and Carol and I was walking behind him. He said, come here. I said, yes, sir. Sit down. So you know how to drive yours when you get it. I said, what? To myself, you know, I'm just trying to see something. You know what I'm saying? And I got like I had one just like him. I'm imparting to you tonight. I'm not only speaking to you, I'm speaking over you. That it can happen for you because there's a lot to cost There's a lot left. God has gross levels. Enough to handle everybody. Hallelujah! Now I want you, I don't need to do this, a lot of people do this, but I want you to high five somebody and tell them, mine's hitting me right now. Find somebody else. Hit him. Tell him mine's hitting me right now. Find another person. I receive. In the name of Jesus. I receive. In the name of Say, say, yes, sir. Say, 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 that's another thousand dollars. Yeah, thousand dollar being here. Say, 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 Apostle, I got this. Now, 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 don't, don't get upset with me. I'm about to say something. Don't get upset because this is needful. A lot of pastors don't get out first. Yeah. 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 I heard that in my spirit. Why? It lead them. Nothing wrong with that. I don't get who get angry. And the reason a lot of pastors don't get first. You got to get that stench off the church yeah. at large of trying to keep preachers broke. Yeah. When you keep a preacher broke, you keep yourself broke. Yeah. I preach in liberty. Yeah. I can preach this message in liberty. Yeah. I have no bill. Yeah. 
If the preacher, if the preachers on it, understand how much I'm for them, yes, sir. they would quit that mess, man. You know, yeah. Yeah. quit trying to. You know, some guys on TV with that uh, LA preacher. Oh, that, that's Randy yeah. stuff. Yeah. Most of that stuff, Randy. Yeah. 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 And it's a mockery. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Yes, sir. Right. And I tell you, it's coming down. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, look, baby, you don't get that big. Yeah. Yeah. I don't how big you think you are. A preacher's got no business playing church. That's against God. That's that's dishonorable to God. Mark my day down. Something drastic going to happen to stop this mess. Matter of fact, in the name of Jesus, I command, shut up. Stop clowning with God's business. Get on there with them suits on. Yeah, we need to dress nice. But don't get on there and what kind of suits you got on all that. You know what I'm saying? Just, just running on TV like we're some regular people. We're not yeah. regular. Right. You understand what I'm saying, right? Y'all not upset. Y'all not upset, right? I don't care. You know that, though. Yeah, right. You know, it came with my spirit to deal with them. I was doing fine. The Lord said, Everybody else scared. Yeah. Come on, Dad. Man, they don't like me no way. I, I tell the truth. Yeah. I, I, I go. I, I go to my son's and daughter church. I ain't, I, I ain't going. I ain't going to all the convention to pay for them for you. Yeah. Whatever yeah. they invite me for. Yeah. You know, I get that the money's not rolling, and everybody get paid. Yeah. 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 Right. And I get a little bit. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Shut it down. Oh, shut the Lord. Shut it down. And it shall be to me a name of Joe and praise. For all the things you do, you all the good that I do to them. And it shall be a tremor for all the goodness and for all the prosperity that I bring. Lift your hand. I'm going to stop you. I've been traveling. I'm gonna, we can take up in the morning. Amen. We got a lot, lot, lot of more wisdom in this little tablet. Gee, we'll get to it. Though. Lift your hand. Oh, you're a show. Put your hand down. Talk to the Lord. Thank him for what you're doing. Say to him what happened to you. Say to him. Say to him. Talk to him. Tell him, say, I got it. It happened to me, God. I received. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Ara ara sha cha ya 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 ya. Glory to God. Ya la la ba sha ya 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 ya. Glory to God. Ya la la ba ho ho she ke. Kata la ne mo ku she ke. I got it, Lord. Say it. She ke ke la ba. Come on, lift those hands. Lift those hands. Do you pray? Bible said God has pleasure in the prosperity of his servant. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for this night. Thank you for this church. Thank you for this woman of God. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory. Yeah, let that anointing fall on. Wow. Glory to God. Glory to God. Anointing fall.
Watching by internet and in this server that's getting ready to yield, you got the envelope. If it, you know, it's a given meeting, too. You got to give. Do I have the envelope? Now, now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got to do this. Now, now, you never have seen this before. I bet I didn't do it. Get government straight in the body of Christ. Brother Miller, I asked you to do something, but the Lord changed it. I had never talked to your wife yet. So the Lord came in my office. You, you a colonel, you understand that I got a higher order. I had two men in mind, you and another fellow. And when I talked to you, I thought the thing was settled. I was in my office. I'm doing it publicly because I know he can handle it. And let y'all know that I'll do it whatever God gave me. And so the Lord came in and called this man's name and said, he's the one. You follow me, man? And uh, I didn't know Arthur. 
I didn't augur your case, but there's no case left. I believe the day to come, but that, that, I'm doubting that God had already put his hand on this man. This is not, now this is not, uh, he know what I'm talking about, y'all know what This is not, this is not a committee deal. In other words, and, and nobody talks to me about it. I was overruled by the greater one. The man is in the room. He has no idea that God has chosen him to be the next 12 men. Him right there. The Lord came in and called call your name. Say, he's, he's the one to step in as a 12 man at this time. I had no idea. You never crossed my mind. But the Lord had chosen you. I got to talk to your wife. I got to talk to I talk to your wife. I never talked to your wife. I had to talk to your wife. And you will get it all, all set in place. The reason I did that because I'm dealing with a strong enough man who know authority. Remember the man in the eighth chapter of Matthew, what he said? I understand. Well, it, it, it's a second feeling in me, too, because I, I'd already planned because I know he's 100 solid. But yet, I'm teaching the 12, you got to know how to follow God, and we got to understand government. If you don't understand government, say, why you did it out here for your for your state? I, I could have talked to Miller privately, but I got to tell you, you got to be able to take this. Now, 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 see, I know Miller, and I'm not trying to pump him. That ain't going to change him. Why? Because he's real. Could you handle this? It's a test for all of you all. God overruled God. It's not, it's not that he know better than Miller, but it's just God. Time. And then God checking me out. Can I change a decision? Oh, yeah. Got to, man. And so I want y'all to learn government. Y'all need to learn government, apostolic government. That is not an organization of friendship and kinship, but it's what the Lord wants. You go, you, you go to work around. Man, didn't we like that? He ain't ready for this. Maybe God got something greater for him. I don't know. I just try to follow all of So I, I wanted to interrupt to say that. And so now I got to, I'm glad I didn't get to talk to this one. Now I got to go talk to his wife. I hope I make it to your wife. God, come say something. No. Sit <laughs> down. Sit down. Let's receive the offering. You got Let's get, get your offering together. Cause I don't want to sleep with that on my mind anymore. I sleep better tonight than I need to. I need to. And I want to see you in person. I could have told you privately, but let, you ever saw that? That's strong, isn't it? That's strong, isn't it? That's strong. That's that's leadership. That's that's following. Who following you? See? Yeah, yeah. Maybe in his profession, maybe he busy now. I mean, he be to all the meetings. I don't know what Lord. He's a colonel. He no authority. You follow what I'm saying? He had no idea. There's another thousand dollar check. He had, he had didn't even think about when I was in California. They brought this, kept bringing thousand, 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 thousand. Had a line of thousand. They lined up. You were there that night? Yeah, Ontario. Yeah, line up. My goodness. Everybody got an envelope of one and one? Well, if you're ready, stand up. Now I'm praying with we'll, we'll get some rest and come back tomorrow. What the Lord said when he came to my office, Miller, what the Lord said. Now I got uh, uh, Marvin Moore. His name Moore too, isn't it? Yes, sir. So when he said Moore, he ain't saying a whole name, he said Moore. So I'm, I've been praying about an hour and a half. He said Moore. I just said that. And then, then he went on further to tell me that he was the man. And uh, just follow suit. Who knows? The Lord knows. Oh, yeah. I know the Lord knows what he's doing. 
Half the time, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to hang on, you know. Praise God. I love it. Father, we thank you tonight for the word you've given us. We are sowing, uh, no, no, but right on that wisdom seed. My money wisdom seed. My money wisdom seed. My money wisdom seed. Ten thirty in the morning. Yeah, be here. Be here. Thank God. I know you received that impartation tonight, didn't you? Yeah. Got it? Yes, sir. And I know and the Lord knows let me say something else. The Lord know a pump couldn't receive this. You had to be somebody who understand authority. Well, if I said, hit me like that. Leave out your nose. Man, let's go talk. Man, man, you know what he did me? I didn't do you nothing. Here's the Lord. Gee, that, well, I finished brand new, man. I ain't finished brand new. No, come on, lift it up. I'm talking about the money, money with me. All right, Father, we thank you for this importation. These seeds are going into the soil of the money coming to anointing and make an impact in the spirit world that we receive exactly what was spoken to us tonight. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. I should come forward. What a, what a bucket, man. Well, you got a big bucket. You got a five-gallon bucket. <laughs> I never get on him by no bucket. Uh-huh. Not yet. I, don't run. I can't get on her by no bucket. She got a five-gallon bucket. Where's my coat? Get my coat, sir. This, this, this new, uh, and I won't say it in front of her, this new paradigm shift and this uh, uh, transition we're making uh, to see how the apostolic church operates. Uh, I say to the pastors, I know you get revelation, but listen, listen to what I'm teaching and stay close to it for a while. Because all our churches are transitioning. To think about the Son of Man and the Son of God, all those things that our, our people need to hear this because we're shifting in the book of Acts. We're going to the book of Acts. We're going, we're going uh, from this organization, uh, moving in an extension of the book of Acts. See, the book of Acts not over yet. See, now, what he talks about, he talks about uh, Acts of the Holy Ghost. Acts of God, Acts of the Apostle, and, 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 and vastly, vastly, the Apostle, the Apostle has been misunderstood uh, to what their benefits are to the church at large. It's, it, it, and I, it seems like I'm building it so much because I'm an Apostle, it's a foundational ministry. That has not been in place, and so as we aim to bring it in place, thank God I'm surrounded by men and women who want more from God and understand what God does. So 10:30 in the morning, going to the hotel, get rest, and travel. We'll be at 10:30 in the morning. All right? How many of How many of will be in the morning? You know, teaching. I have another message with some new information. Like I said, these George they all follow me all the time. You never know what's gonna come out of my mouth. You know why? I don't know. I'll see, I'll see y'all in the morning. What is doing? I'll see y'all in the morning. Right back home. Look, 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 look,